start crying in a Bentley cool Purse full of pain, take a Xan or two Don't give up all the hoes, but her I do See you seven tears, let me share it with you I could go through a lot of shit for you I can't lie, I read that I fell for it Should've known that you would just make my heart confused See you sipping tears, let me share it with you I Gotta record the getting ready for the podcast Hold on, I'm chilling. Hello everybody, welcome to the Lucid Living Podcast I'm your host a lucid human, aka Lucid, aka Goofsan, aka Kumo, aka you can call me whatever you want, just don't call me broke. I can't eat! I'm broke, nigga! I'm broke! And this. What's up, everybody? I'm Alex. His, his name's Alex. Simple. Yeah. yeah that, that's it. That's all there is to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, Takashi69. So. His album was projected to do 100K yep. in sales. It dropped, I'm pretty sure it dropped to 50K now, right? Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. Did you see Trippy Red laughing? No, I saw it from clowning him though. Mm. Well, Trippy Red, you know him and Takashi69, they, oh, yeah. they hate each other. They They're on the same label. Label, but they hate each other. Yeah. And I don't. I. I, I guess I understand the beef. Like he snitched on some like Treyway. Yeah. So like now it's just even more fiery. Now it's even more spicy. And then he just adds more oil to, onto that fire as soon as Takashi Six Nine's results comes out, and he's just laughing. That's all. Just someone told me something funny. Just. <laughs> well, Blueface was also planning on him. Yeah. Alright, I'm finna get disrespectful in this motherfucker. I found that interesting. Didn't Blueface's album flop? But don't matter, cause Blueface don't take himself as seriously as everyone else. Yeah. Alright. Mm. So, since everyone's already like, you're trash, no one expects his albums to do good, but people still listen to him. What do you mean, he doesn't take himself as seriously as everyone else? Like, he doesn't take himself as seriously as like a Meek Mill, or any... Or most people in the industry, because he's kind of just there chilling, he's making his money. He's not caring too heavily, at least how I see him when he does his shit. Yeah, I guess you got a point. There are tears to this musician shit, it's this like rapper shit. Yachty's so. kind of on the same level, except Yachty, like, he makes good music. Yachty was in the Sonic movie. Yeah, that's but that's the thing. He make, he's after the bag. He was in Teen Titans Go! No one watched that. Yeah, kids watch that. No. Yachty has secured the bag. He's also in Phase. I don't, I don't even in, know that movie. I, I don't, yeah, fuck out of here. You know what I meant. Phase Clan, bitch. Oh, I, don't, I still don't know, bro. I'm, I'm uncultured, I guess. But let's let's backtrack. Takashi Six Nine. I guess we can't feel bad for him. Fifty K isn't that good still? I don't no. know. No, not that's at all. Shit. Not for his level of clout. That's I'm the guessing. thing. He before he went to prison, he was just. Every party was playing his music, at least one song. Mm. So I think he went from like being that hype the guy. party type icon. It was his year. Yeah, not for him being good at anything. It's just at the end of the day, he was doing well. So him dropping down to this, it's like it's not bad because you know it's gonna go up, but it's still like you expect a lot more from him. Let me just ask the audience really fast. Meek Mill, Dreams and Nightmares. Is that the like most classic, iconic party song ever made? Just drop that in the comment section for YouTube. Um, he also bought some album sales himself, didn't he? Didn't he trick, uh, like, uh, like this was a couple months ago. That, I'm not I, sure. It was a couple of weeks ago and what I heard was, it was the one with Nicki Minaj. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what they did was they bought a bunch of uh, their records or whatever, and that's how they got to the uh, Billboard number one spot. So I'm starting to think, like, what is going on? Is Takashi 69 smoke and mirrors right now? Is he, is he really as big as we think he is? Because it seems like he's everywhere. It's like he's a modern day Kardashian. The thing is though, he is, even if he buys his own, he's still as big as everyone thinks he is because he buys his own. People play his stuff more than more people know. He's kind of, I don't think it's it's messing up the stats, yeah, but he's low-key just accelerating it. 
Accelerating his what? Accelerating his growth. His growth. Because he pushes himself to number one. It's like, that's not right. You're pushing a bunch of people down. It's kind of fucked up. But then a bunch of more people are hearing it. So it's still getting bigger. So you're saying it. it's going to be developing this this album. It's, it's not a complete flop. It's going to snowball yeah, effect it's like down in, the line. In, yeah, oh, yeah, this album will definitely snowball effect. But him, like you said, if he buys it himself, him doing that is him kind of like accelerating more people hearing it. Because the more popular it gets, the more times radio will play it, the more people will talk about it. it he's just pushing everything along, making sure it gets big. I like that theory because... That's like herd mentality. So basically, like you yeah. see something at the number one spot and you automatically go, let me give this a listen because like these higher up people yeah. like told me that it was good. So stay away from that. Well, it's dangerous. Now, if you see a song like on the top of it's like, oh shit, a bunch of people like it. I'll give it a try. And even if you don't like but, it. But, but, he, but he cheated the billboard. But that, that's he the cheated thing. billboard. That's, that's why it's dangerous. But that's why he's accelerating his growth. Because, again, a bunch of people will be like, oh, you know, I'll give it one listen. Even if people listen to it once, don't like it. That one listen on Spotify is still a listen. And those will add up. You got a point. But we got to move on to our next topic here. Tory Lanez. Oh, God. <laughs> so, since y'all hoes so worry about it, Yes, this nigga Tory shot me. You shot me. And you got your publicists and your people going to these blogs lying and shit. Stop lying. Okay, so a cup, I shouldn't laugh. Meg the, Meg the Stallion, I hope in my heart that you're okay and that your foot is healed up. Genuinely, I hope I hope everything goes good for you right now. Congratulations on WAP making it to number one. Amazing. What is going on? What is going on with this situation? So Tory Lanez, some texts were revealed that he was saying I was I was too drunk. Like so, he sent that and he was like, I'm sorry, Meg. I'm sorry. I was too drunk. Da 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 da. Like his condolences, offering them and. I was just like, okay, like how did it even get to that? Like you guys were like at a pool party or something, going on live on Instagram every single day with each other and like it ends up with like you being too drunk and shooting one of the biggest up and coming rappers, superstars in the foot. Like what happened, bro? Uh, Kylie way, Jenner was there. The way I look at that is him saying accidentally is I imagine he had a gun on him and he, it accidentally went off when they were next to each other and shot him in the foot. Because mm. I'm, I'm, mm. I'm not imagining him being drunk and just going, all right, yeah, yeah. No, I'm imagining uh -huh. him, like, having it next to him. It, him accidentally, you know, clicking it off safety, whatever, from walking around, and then him accidentally Maybe shooting. Maybe fall, falling off, falling out. Yeah, of falling out, out baby, shot. Whatever the strap Like, yeah, go. something dumb like that. I'm not imagining him going out of his way, to shoot drunk as hell, Stallion. looking and shooting her. Yeah, you got a point. And it's the foot. That's a very peculiar yeah, spot to That's what to I'm saying, like, shot on the hip shot down or it fell and shot, something like that. That's interesting. And the thing is, in the text messages, he, uh, he didn't specify what he was apologizing for, so we are speculating that it was about the gun, and I don't know if they're taking any legal um, repercussions or uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, repercussions is good about, yeah. but I, from far as I know, they haven't confirmed it was him. It was just speculation. It was him. Still speculation. He never so admitted. They it. really kept this under yeah. wraps, and so did Meg. So he never admitted it, if anything. In the comment section, YouTube, let us know what do you think about this. Like, are they covering up because they're still in cahoots with each other? Do you, do you still think there's a relationship yeah. there? Because that's what it seems like to me. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely nothing wrong with that. But um, we're just gonna move on to our YOLO questions. Thank you guys so much for responding and um, you know, at, uh, to the question of the week. This week I asked, how old do you wanna be when you pass on, when you die? And I also asked for you guys to just send in regular questions that you wanted to know. So Alex, you know, he had a look. You guys can hate him if he doesn't choose your questions. Sorry. Um, and Sucks. don't hesitate to send in questions at the brand Snapchat at Lucid Living Inc. Uh, underscore Lucid Living Inc. Underscore. Uh, we I wasn't quick enough to get Lucid Living Inc. 
<laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Alex, take it away. Well, I'll say before I say what they, when they want to die, mm -hmm. when do you? When do I want to die? I want to see my great grandbabies, but here's the thing. I don't want to be immobile and people wiping my butt and taking care of me. And it's nothing against the people who do want that and are okay with that. Maybe they're afraid of death or something. I'm not afraid of death. I kind of just want to play the game of life as long as I can. Maybe not necessarily at my peak of physical ability, but once I get to that point where it's just way too hard, like it, like I, I, can't, I can't use the bathroom by myself, well, I'm ready to see the next phase. I'm ready to see, like, whatever you believe in, I'm ready to see that. What about you? I'm very similar because my aunt she lived until she was 106 that's impressive she so she was my great great aunt. that was my grandma's aunt so like she was walking the treadmill cooking she was completely healthy up until she passed and so if i could live that long healthy i would hell yeah it, but, easily but if i'm completely immobile at 70 80 then i'm okay with it i'm okay with passing on at that point. I don't want to just be here if I can't take care of myself and I have to be taken care of. Yeah, see, man, coronavirus is a very interesting pandemic, how it's going after us old, or the old, I shouldn't say us old people, the older people. Um, if you have lost a loved one already to this, like I'm sending positive vibes, sending prayers to you, and I hope that, you know, you get past this because they wouldn't want you to be sad about it. But, um, Let's continue with the responses. Because yep. we know death is a touchy subject, some people do take it seriously. So someone said, I want to be at least 90, and they asked how long we've been growing your baby dreads. <laughs> My baby dreads? I added the baby part. Oh, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was me, but yeah. No, these shits, I'm Fabio. Like, I'm fucking, uh -huh. I'm beautiful. Yep. Um, I've been growing these since last summer 2019. So I'm uh, pretty sure that's uh, May, May 4th is when I got the final haircut and then grew it out. So that's how long all it is takes. And if I got it redone, it'll probably get even longer, so. All right, another person said they wanted to live until 78 because they think anything past that would be constant pain and suffering. 78's a highly specific number. But I agree, pretty much the same thing that uh, Alex and I were talking about. But I have to think, I, I think personally, we're gonna keep continue to live longer. Well, yeah, because medicine and everything's improving. Yeah. Hospitals are at, at some point, we're just gonna, it's gonna peak and stay the same, but until- Will it though? Technology would have to extremely advance. And it will.